Hello YouTube, it is Toy Adventures here again with another figure review. And today guys, we are back on the Jurassic track. Today we have a brand new T-Rex for us to take a look at. Today we are taking a look at the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Epic Roaring Tyrannosaurus Rex. So this is the new T-Rex based on the new um, Netflix series called Camp Cretaceous. Um, you guys probably heard plenty about it. Uh, these are the new characters. We have the main characters. Uh, they look awfully Power Rangerish to me. They don't really look like something you'd see in Jurassic Park. Um, but you know, we all I all hold my real judgments till I see it. I mean, here we have three more. Again, not really screaming Jurassic Park here. More like screaming generic Netflix series. I like Bumpy. Bumpy's cute. The new baby Ankylosaurus, but. She's a dinosaur, so she doesn't count with the other characters. Taking a look at the back, we have the Chomp, Thrash, and then, the, I don't know what this means. It's like, it has like a little clock right here and it says, Epic Roar. Uh, one of the problems with these Mattel boxes is they do not elaborate on anything. They give you one word and they hope you understand. Epic Roar with this little symbol, but what does this symbol mean? Like, like, do you press the button for a certain amount of time and you get different effects? You know what I mean? Uh, thrash is just thrash, jump. So, pretty basic instructions on it. Uh, taking a look over here, we have what is included. Like I said, like it just says included. Like, what is this? What is included? I don't. Okay, well, it looks like a little map with a little sticker sheet. So that's pretty tight. I mean, it's it's better than just the, the standard uh, collecting card. Actually, you know what? I think I would have preferred the collecting card because it's a little more mature. And um, I don't know, I feel like this is taking a little too far down the little kid road. I, I, I enjoyed the uh, collector cards more, but um, I'm gonna see what this is all about. And then taking a look way over here, we have Toro the new Carnotaurus, which unfortunately I think is just a repaint of the other electronic Carnotaurus that we had. I believe it's called the Control and Conquer. So, I mean, it, it does have like, you know, his little scar and everything. It's painted to be Toro, but it is again, just a repaint. So, flipping around the back. Um, I, when I found this, I actually got two of them. Because when I found I found them in those little uh, shipping boxes that, that Mattel put them the two in the case in. Uh, I found one of those when they were unloading at Target. Got two of them. Gave one to my good friend Nostalgic Adam on Instagram, and we were talking when I when I met up with him to give it to him, and we were just agreeing how beautiful this sculpt is. This has to be one of Mattel's best sculpts in their basic line to date. I mean. We'll get onto that later on in the review, but I just wanted to point that out that this is probably one of my favorite of the new T-Rexes. That being said, I can't wait to get this thing out of the box, so we're gonna do that right now. <laughs> wait, we didn't look at the box. I mean, we didn't look at the box in the background because this isn't your primal attack background, no. Camp Cretaceous has its own super fancy background, um, and I think it'll be better looked at with the T-Rex out of the box. So. Back to unboxing. Okay, so before we take a look at Rexy herself, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the new packaging for the damn Cretaceous line. You have this absolutely beautiful looking forest here with those huge trees that you saw in the last world. You got kind of like a bridge here. This kind of looks like, you know, camp. Cretaceous, this looks like where the camp would be. And so far, I'm really liking it. I think it looks very in tune with the rest of the series. Um, very proper. Very kind of woodland and nature-y, that very Jurassic Park. I like it a lot. Um, beautiful background, you got the little roar going on over here. And then it says Netflix, a Netflix original series. Not something I'd ever think I would see on a Jurassic Park toy box, but here we are. I, basically, let me just go ahead and get this out of the way, my opinions on what the show is so far. Um, I'm happy Jurassic Park's getting a series. I just hope they handle it properly. If it's too childish, too cartoony, and, and, and plays too safe, it's gonna get boring quick. Uh, I hope we get something on, on the lines of like Star Wars, The Clone Wars, where it's, it has this kind of art style, but it really impresses the fans regardless, because a lot of people don't like the Clone Wars art style, and me included, but really like the show. So 
I'm hoping that's what's gonna happen here. If, if this show is awesome, then I'll be, it'll be dream come true. Here she is out of the box. Rexy, Roberta, whatever you wish to call her, here she is. Um, this is probably one of Mattel's better paint jobs, but that is not really saying much since Mattel paint jobs are kind of on purposely uh, basic. They get the overall color scheme of the I-9 sort of down, and it's not really so super detailed. There's no like, uh, stripes going down. It's really intricate. You can't make that in your mass-produced toy, so I'm not going to hold that against them. It does what it needs to. It looks like a T-Rex, but that is just tipping that is just scratching the surface of all the improvements they've made on this T-Rex compared to their last T-Rex. So let's get looking. So I just discovered that this has a instruction manual. So I was kind of put in my place when I said if the instructions were basic on the back, here is where you get the more detailed instructions on how to operate the toy. I'm not gonna read any of it. I'm just gonna let you guys pan over it. Let you guys pause it if you guys really are interested in this instruction booklet. Okay, so here we go. First, we're gonna start off with her new action feature. There is a button right here at the tail. It is super flush and kind of blends in with the rest of the tail. Not, not too obvious, but it, you can notice it. When you press it, you get a roar that starts out quiet and then you'll just see. All right, so basically it goes quiet then super loud. I'll go ahead and do that again without shaking the toy. No, that is not me shaking it. That is the action gimmick. When you pull the button for an extended amount of time, it will roar and then it will shake as if it's doing the loud, you know, main roar. Now that's not even what I like about this thing. If you noticed, move the tail around in any direction and you can puppeteer the Rex. I don't need to explain why this would be useful for me while filming. I pretty much have my own T-Rex animatronic at this point. I mean, it can't go down, wait. Kind of. And if you just press it, it won't do the whole head shaking thing. So if you don't want the head shaking thing, uh, you don't have to have it. I might actually just take the batteries out because when I'm filming, these kind of get annoying when they roar because it kind of ruins the, uh, I don't use the roars of the toys. I use roars off the computer. So. Getting onto the head articulation, which is my favorite part. You can move it about that far this way, this far that way. So you can kind of get that tragic scene where the T-Rex dies in JP3, where the scene goes, <laughs> kind of. They don't let you go that far. They're not gonna let you kill this thing. And moves down about that far, up about that far. And here comes the big kicker, the tongue. The tongue is soft, soft rubber. It feels almost like a real tongue if you get it wet. Kind of creepy. Ooh. So you can have that scene from the Lost World where the tongue licks uh, Sarah's cheek. <laughs> yeah, pretty tight. Rubber arms. They can go about that far back, that far forward, forward back. They're both back technically. Legs. You already know the deal. They're on ratchet, which kind of sucks because. With ratchets, you can't get in a specific uh, height or you know way that you want her to walk. This is how you'd want her to be right here, but it's not. It's in between this and this. This is fine. This is probably what I'm going to keep it at, but it is kind of leaning up a little bit. It kind of bothers me just just a tiny bit. This is one that I'm super eager to get custom um, because well the paint job here is uh, simple. I believe with just a little bit of with just a custom paint job, this thing will look absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. So, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the detailing so I can prove to you guys just how pretty this T-Rex really is. Starting over here at the head, you guys can see just how much sculpting and detail was put into this figure. Uh, it's like every part of the body has little rivets, not rivets, every part of the body has little uh, wrinkles and skin. 
flaps and all these different bumps and scales. It's just super, super detailed. I can imagine it almost, almost feels almost overdone, you know? Like it's just so much going on. For most, Rex's bodies have been kind of this like, a little bit of sculpting here and there and then flat mostly. This one is just totally done out. And I'll show you with comparisons with Mattel's other Rexes to show you just how much of an improvement this one is. Take a look at the tongue. See there's even detail on the tongue and under the tongue. There's even detail under the tongue. Not to mention these teeth look really good compared to Mattel's usual teeth. They're not perfect, but they are better. Bottom is your scan code, because I always forget to put that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Rex itself. Now we get onto the fun part. How does this T-Rex scale in with the rest of the Jurassic World Mattel line? Starting us off with, I believe, I don't know if this is the first. Yeah, this is the first most people got their hands on of the Rexes. Is the uh, Extreme Chomping. So, one thing you can notice here, kind of, actually I can't show it on the custom because I don't know if the teeth were, were edited. So we're not gonna compare the teeth on this one. I already had a custom at hand. So, still bigger than this one. I really wish they'd make a bigger one of these. I really wish they'd make a bigger articulated Rex. Mattel, please, that and the Fortis Pro. Okay, we're moving on to the Thrash and Throw. Here we have the Thrash and Throw with the new Epic Roar. And you can just tell, looking at the teeth, these are super globby and like there's hardly any definition between the teeth. It's just weird looking, you know? And then you come over to here and each teeth is defined. You can tell where each teeth starts and, and ends. Just looks so much better. Uh, even around here at the nose, you can tell it's kind of flattish around here. There's a little bit of bumpy going on, but not like this. Um, I've heard some people complain about the brow. My complaint about this thing and its style is the eye. But if you know a customizer, which I do, that's really good with sculpting, that's a total easy fix. Just add a little sculpt around the eye. So make it a little bit smaller like the Thrash and Throw. Thrash and Throw has the better eye. It's smaller, not as cartoony. Fix that, this is the perfect T-Rex. So I am super psyched to get this thing customized. And it stands a lot better too. You guys just noticed that. This one is overall a huge improvement over Mattel's first attempt at the T-Rex. So excellent work, Mattel. You hit it big with this one. Especially not having an annoying action feature on the foot that constantly goes off and when it breaks, it sounds like it's haunted going off out of nowhere. So we're gonna go ahead and move straight to humans. Here comes the fun part. I'm not just gonna do Mattel humans because I know some of you collect Marauders, Joy Toy. We're gonna do those too. We're gonna see how humans fit in with this dinosaur. All right, starting us off with today's comparisons, we're gonna be taking a look at Dr. Grant for our Mattel human. Remember, Mattel humans in the term of 1118 scale are smaller than other 1118 scale figures and by quite a bit too. So that's how big they compare. So perfect sizing right there. Then we move on to a more scientifically accurate scale with, his, with the Marauders. This is how big you would probably really be compared to a fully grown Tyrannosaurus Rex if you were a fully grown male. So there's that. By the way, a lot of people ask me where I get my action figures. This is a Marauders. You find them on Marauders.com, Marauders.inc. Okay, you can buy whatever you want there. There are tons of figures. This is Joy Toy. Joy Toy is bought off of the, well, I get them off of Small Joe's, but you can get them off of eBay, Big Red Toy Store. I get them off of Small Joe's because they're the US plug for these and they're the cheapest. There. So, there's that. And that pretty much wraps up the review for this dinosaur. The last thing we have to take a look at is that little map thing. And we'll go ahead and get to that now, but I'm gonna go ahead and give my final thoughts on this T-Rex. It's a huge step in the right direction. The sound gimmick is cool. I like the shaking a little bit. I like the fact that you can just take out the batteries if you really don't want it and you just want the cool, you know, puppeteering gimmick. I love it. I love when they add the puppeteering gimmicks on these toys. 
Uh, I'm not sure if Mattel's watching my videos, but if you are, you guys did excellent on this one. Please, I don't know what you guys have to do. Please just get us the Ford Explorer. I'm, I'm on my hands and Basically, it's not much. It's like a tiny little, uh, I guess puzzle or, or maze map with these little stickers. I put on Toro and the T-Rex to show you. Not really impressive. That's what I think of your stickers. They don't even stick well. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the review. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for future movies and future reviews. All these new Mattel uh, crime Cretaceous stuff is coming out, so I'll probably be back with reviews. Hopefully soon with the Seats. I don't know when. I really want the Seats. It'll be bumpy. I don't know what. Guys, I'm so happy to bring you this review, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. This has been Toy Avengers signing out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Oh my.